The next type of input controls are screen aids. They are there to help you. Look at them or break those two words up. It's assistance on the screen, which means, guys, when you're trying to input something, the screen's got to help you with what should be input to make sure you do it correctly. So guys, screen aids are obviously there to ensure that you input accurately. Okay, so I've said screen format. It needs to look like the manual document. Well, look at the invoice in Sage. It looks exactly like what a manual hard copy invoice would look like. It's got invoice, it's got its number, it's got the customer details, and then it's got what is being purchased on that invoice. So it looks the same. It's formatted to look the same as a hard copy document. So that's my first screen aid, the format. The next one, mandatory fields. There should be something like this on the screen that says to you, you must complete this field. If you don't complete this field, you cannot move on. And guys, you should see this quite often when you're trying to buy something online. You must please complete your credit card details, otherwise we can't move further. Unfortunately, our Sage doesn't have the asterisk showing you mandatory fields, but if you try to move on without completing, it doesn't allow you. So I'll show you that. So if you look here, you can see none of the fields have a little symbol to say you must, but if I try to say save this invoice, it will say to me, you have not added any items. So you can't. You must specify the quantity and confirm the price before. So those are telling me that at least quantity and price have to be included. And so guys, what you're just seeing here is a prompt, something on the screen to help us so we can go and tick that off. So we can cross off our prompts, something that pops up on the screen to give you instructions. And then next guys, minimum entry. You don't have to add anything because as soon as you put one thing in, one field, it automatically updates the other fields with the information from the master file. So as soon as I put a stock number in, the stock description comes up. As soon as I put a customer name in, the customer number comes up and the customer's details because all of those are in the master file. And guys, I'm going to do drop down arrow at the same time. Drop down arrow, there's just a little arrow that brings up a list which you have to select from. You can't go and type in anything, you have to choose from that list. So once again, you want to choose your customers, here's a list of customers you can choose from. You want to choose a stock, these are the only stock items we sell, so you have to choose from this list. So let's go have a look at those two. If I click down on this arrow, I can find my customer. I can't put in a customer. It has to come from that list. And then look what happened. As soon as I chose the customer, the VAT reference came up for that customer. The postal address came up for that customer. So I didn't have to input that because that is already sitting in my customer master file. So it pulled through for my customer. Minimum entry, drop down arrows. And that is all the screen aids. Okay, so nice and simple so far are input controls. Username and passwords to prevent fictitious. So obviously then this is to ensure the occurrence is certain. Our batch controls, remember guys, we're looking to make sure we don't miss any records, that there are no duplicate records, to make sure the amounts are correct, so that's why we're looking at our different totals. So guys, these actually ensure all of those assertions. Okay, so they make sure that there's no fictitious, that, they are, that all are recorded, and that they are accurately recorded. So obviously for occurrence, completeness, and accuracy. 
Okay. Screen aids ensure the accurate input of your data, so it's formatted, there's mandatory field. Guys, also mandatory field can also be to ensure completeness, because it makes sure you don't miss anything. Everything that must be in is in there. Minimum entry, prompts, and drop-down arrows. All of these are at the input stage. You can see I'm putting the data into the invoice so that once that's ready, the invoice will be processed by the system. So our next set of application controls are program checks.